Well, with so much time being spent on computers by our students these days, and potentially more, now that we're talking about the Delta variant in our midst, uh, we are looking at possible cybersecurity issues across the board. Well, joining us, Amy Justice. She's the founder of CMIT Se Solutions. She's also a cybersecurity expert. And, you know, you think about kids not being the most cyber savvy, so I would imagine that they could become targets for a lot of the scams that are out there right now. Would you agree? I agree with that. And interestingly, kids, I mean, while we say they're maybe not as savvy sometimes, they actually, I think, respond really well when you share with them where, you know, maybe some of the threats are coming from. Mm -hmm. And there's some really basic just tricks and things that they can do to keep themselves a lot more protected than they would be otherwise. Yeah, I mean, and it go, the same thing goes for adults as well, because we, even at work, will get sent an email with a link, and it's malicious, and you know, you have to be aware it, exactly. of what comes into your inbox. Right, because, you know, I think the, the issues that are facing kids are the same ones that we see. CMIT actually primarily supports businesses, but the issues are the same. Mm. You know, it's things like, you know, just keeping good protection on all of your devices, you know, s malware protection, things like that. Layers of security are really helpful. Mm -hmm. Just, and being, I'd say as much of, as anything, being vigilant. Absolutely. Just it, making sure you're thinking about where a threat might be coming from, mm -hmm. and then just, you know, slowing down and kind of looking at things before you click on them. What would you say are some of the top tips that parents and students need to be vigilant about and to avoid potential scams and issues? Well, I think being smart about the network that you're working on, you know, making sure that if you're on a, a shared Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. that it's up to date and a secure and a, you know, a place that you would trust. Make sure that your security software on your computers are all current. You know, you want to stay up to date with all those as annoying as it sometimes can be because they come out so frequently. Yes. Keep your phone and your computer, you know, everything, your Mac, whatever it is, up to date with security updates and active antivirus on it is very helpful. Is that fairly easy to install for anybody who's watching very, that hasn't done that yet? Is it that is easy? It is very easy and there's okay. and I think most of the applications that you would buy are, you know, they come with a very easy self-install. What do you think are some of the biggest threats for kids though? Because while well, yes, they're working off of a computer to do their school work, to engage in classes and things like that, but the phone. They all well, have phones now. Once they reach a certain mm -hmm. age, and it seems like they can get malicious text messages or right. through social media or things like that. I think, you know, it, it's interesting. It can be malicious text messages, so it's good to pay attention to, you know, who the text is actually coming from and, and look at the address really carefully and just make sure it's not close to another one that, mm -hmm. you know, that might be legitimate. So text messages can be a challenge. Email, which is you know not as popular for the younger kids, um, but it's still a threat, and that's where a lot of links get introduced that you can accidentally click on. Mm -hmm. But it's even like Facebook and things. Um, you know, make sure that you're not posting things that could potentially compromise an account. You know, like right. you know, because a lot of those fun puzzles and games that they throw around for you know for free are asking for questions that right. are really intending to look for anything that could expose a password it's you know what's your mother's for birthday free. what's your favorite color what was right. your first car that's interesting which a lot of those are security questions on some of the you know the different websites it's you would go to it's never for free it's never it for is free never is for it free. all right well we need to take a break when we come back we're going to be talking about some of the other things that you need to do to keep your kids safe and yourself for that matter we're going to do that in 2 minutes don't go anywhere we're back with Amy Justice. She is president of CMIT Solutions, a cybersecurity expert. We've been talking about back to school cybersecurity, and there are just numerous ways in which these hackers from all over the world are infiltrating our systems, that are breaking down security, that are spending hours on end figuring out how to get one over on us. Um, but you're saying that some of the solutions are really quite simple. What, there's a bit of uh, advice that you had as far as tracking, using a GPS tracker on your phone. Why is that important? Well, 
It is helpful to make sure you know where your device is so that in the event that you were to lose it, you could quickly locate it. Okay. So it is a good suggestion to turn on the um, Find My Phone or, you know, the, depending on whether it's a, um, the Android phone or the Apple phone, you know, they're a little bit different. But it's good to track your phone and make sure you know where it is. And it's also a great idea to have a lock screen on there so that in the event you did lose it, someone would not easily be able to get into it. Absolutely. I, I don't know anybody who doesn't lock their screen, actually. I think everybody needs to do that, don't they? They do. Yeah, <laughs> I would think so. All right, you were mentioning about uh, the social media downloadable games and things like that, and that's a way of mining information that could potentially be used to hack into someone's personal information. Yes. Right. And yeah. I teach a um, this couple of cybersecurity classes oriented towards the business community, but you know one of the things that we talk about there is the fact that a lot of those quizzes or you know things that are put out there on yeah. Facebook are actually some a, a large percentage of them. I think I saw something about seventy percent of them are actually introduced by criminals or someone looking mm. to get information from you that they can then use to hack into an account. How does I mean, that just, end up on social media? How, I mean, I see it constantly on my feed. It's like, and they are fun. I mean, that's the thing, is you're providing all this information yes. that you probably don't want out there. Well, so are checkers. Checkers mm -hmm. are also a lot of fun. Well, these are all things that parents need to keep in mind and keep their kids safe, keep themselves safe. Uh, there's so much more that we need to get into, but we've run out of time. Next time, let's have you come back and give us some more tips on how to stay safe online. Great. Thank you so Thank much. You so and much, be Jimmy. safe. And be safe, everybody. We'll be right back.